Hello. Okay, I'm going to turn you around to my computer, which is also our wonderful kind of live fandom. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready? <laughs> There's my plant. <laughs> Do you see the things that we kind of make happen because uh, I, I, you're too pure to be exposed to social media? I had the thought to try to have Nicole... Um, See if I can do this where it's not totally. But you can see me kind of through there, right? Yeah, but I can hear you anyway yes. as well, so I can kind of see. <laughs> to have Nicole and I uh, try to maybe have you sign in to like my account or something. And then we were like, Katie's, Katie's too pure for this world. She never needs to be exposed <laughs> to social media ever. No, I'm just technologically stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I'm sure I have some. I love the live that you so kindly did. Uh, with me and Nicole and Andrea, kind of my first episode, and then the day that Andrea was like the villain, just so like we everyone knew we were it was, we're all real people, and you kept looking into the camera and you were like, well, where are the people? <laughs> but I didn't. You said let's do an Instagram live, but I didn't. Know what that meant. I was like, oh, oh and so when you came up and you were talking, I was like, what are you doing? Oh my I don't god. Know what that's amazing. I, t I don't know why I assumed that you, I love that you agreed yeah. and you were like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Listen, you asked me to do something, I'm happy to do it, but I had no idea what it was. You're so I sweet. And when I, ca when I called you to ask you to do this, I was so nervous because you're like having such a peaceful quarantine and I didn't, I don't want to bother anyone. And you, you were so sweet because you were like, I don't understand it still, but I'll do anything for you. And I was like, that's my yeah. friend. It's nice to do things like this. It's nice to see you. I know. It's nice to see you, too. How have you been? How's Ashi? He's good. He's sleeping somewhere else. I did bring him up, but then he just was looking at me and, like, whimpering. So I was like, maybe you don't want to be here so I'll leave. Yeah. Yeah. He might have he, he might have sensed, like, something was happening because, you know, the prince, <laughs> the, the prince doesn't work or do anything unless he wants to. I mean, we're pretty much all his servants, and I'm okay with that. It's true. It's true. It'll be fine. How's quarantining going yeah, for you? It's, it's going okay. You know, it's, yeah. Reading a lot, eating a lot, drinking a lot of tea, so, you know. Not really that much change from usual, to be honest. Are you reading anything good yeah. right now? By the way, Three yeah. Women that you gave me is maybe my most favorite book ever. Isn't it wonderful? It was like having three best girlfriends that you constantly got to check in with. It was, it was just so, and the way she writes is so lovely and so non judgmental, but so. She's wonderful. Yeah. yeah I really, really glad you liked it. What else, what else do you recommend for me for reading? For reading right now? Yeah. Um, I'm reading a lot of stuff I've read already because um, when times are so uncertain and the world's a bit scary, I want something comforting. So I'm reading yeah. a lot of like old favorites. But I'm not sure that there's going to be anything you'd be interested in. Tell me, tell me what you're feeling. Wait, what, what are your, I'm just curious, what are your old favorites, just for reference, because I know it's going to be, is it like historical? Uh, there's a lot of historical, I mean, a lot of historical fiction, because think about historical fiction, think about reading a book that you've already read before, the reason I love doing that, I'm watching a movie you've already seen before, is you know how it's going to end, yeah. so but there's bad stuff going to happen, you're prepped for it, and it doesn't shock you, and it's, <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, because life, there's a lot of stuff that's shocking you, coming out of nowhere right now, and I'm, and I'm you know what? It's unsure, and I'm not sure I'm done with it. So when you go back and read books you've read before, TV shows that you want to revisit, there's something very comforting because you can prepare yourself for the worst and know that eventually we can get better. Oh my god, I love that so much. I never thought of it that way. Watching something where you already know what happens, so your like nervous system can relax. Pretty much, I think that's why I studied history because I'm like I know how I know what it ends. <laughs> Can you imagine yes. how, like, our future children are going to look at this time? Like, it's going to be wild. Yeah. It's, it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a moment in time that I think will define us all from after this point. Yeah. I mean, yes. staying calm has been uh, so important in self-care. I want to learn how to, I know we've talked about this, we talked about this the other day, but I do want to do, like, a, a FaceTime, not on social media, don't worry, um, Guinness, Cake. The Janice chocolate cake? Yes. I want to learn how to make that. 
it's really, really easy. And also, and it keeps for a really long time. So you can have it in your fridge and just, you know, ration it. Have a slice a day. It's fine. You don't need to eat it all in one go. That's not going to happen. When you brought it to work, I had like five slices for breakfast. It's so good. That's a perfectly fine breakfast. <laughs> I mean, you can eat Danish pastries for breakfast. That's cake. I fully eat all four of you having That's any true. type of cake or pastry or sweet at any time of the day. That's true. I mean, we all know that I, I would eat like a lot of croissants from that from Small Victory. Me and Andrea, a lot of croissants. So how are you doing, Mel? How's everything with you? I'm pretty good. I mean, I, I, you've been so great. I talk to you a lot. You're such a sweetheart. And I, and I have your, the postcard you sent me up in my room. It makes me so happy. Or about You're so good at that kind of stuff. You're I so love mail. I love sending mail. I love getting mail, but it's the bill. So I assume that everybody else must love getting a mail, but it's a bill. So. It's so you true, know. and it's so romantic, and I and you're so good at sending letters. When I was leaving my place in Vancouver, I hadn't checked my mailbox in, like, months, because I forget I have a mailbox there, and I was like, who's going to send me mail? And I got, like, a, two cards from you that you had sent, and I was like, oh, man. Makes but I also just love the act of, like, you know, even if what you said isn't anything very exciting, it's the fact that you sat down and you wrote it, and you put a stamp on it, and you went to the mailbox, the whole action. Yeah. is telling somebody else that you're thinking of them in new pair. And, and I've been doing that a lot in, in lockdown um, because there is a post box just at the end of my street which I can walk to. So, you know, I've been able to go out and do that and come back. And it, it's, it's been really nice sort of just letting people know that you're thinking of them. And do you, do you just have, like, a ton of postage, like, on standby all the time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you do have, like, fabulous letterhead. Like, you have... And you buy cards randomly, even if it's not specific, I feel like. No, yeah, I do when I see them. I buy them. I love cards, and I love, like, funny ones, and I, I keep stacking them in my, in, um, in drawing them in the house along with postage, just because if somebody's having a bad day, or if you thought of something, or just if you forgot someone's birthday, you always have one hand. It's great. Yeah, my mom does that, where she just has a folder of, like, congratulations, birthday cards, uh, get well soon cards, and I'm like, I gotta, I'm learning a lot from you of, like, how to be a decent adult. We're in it together. How to make people feel good and how to make a good cocktail or how, like get a good bottle of wine by Katie McGrath. I don't know how to get a good bottle of wine. People are asking, like, what wine do you like? I'm like, I don't know. It tastes red to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. No clue. So I feel like we've got, we have gone to dinner and I, we've been like, this wine is good. Are you just like, it's good because it's wine? Pretty much. <laughs> That's very Irish of you. Um, wait, what else have you been cooking? I mean, I know because I talk to you all the time, but what else have you been cooking in quarantine? Because you're an amazing cook. <laughs> I actually just made some bread. Just wrapped up. Thank you very much. I don't know if I'm an amazing cook. But I've had your bread. It's delicious. I like for other people. Um, yeah, I just put some bread out of the oven, which makes me sound really poncy, but yeah. So good. It's healthy. Um, just, you know, I, I'm cooking what we have in the fridge and trying to make sure that I use up everything and waste anything. So that's really important. So it's basically kind of making meals about what I have rather than going out specifically to buy things, if that makes sense. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's, I don't want it to waste anything right now. So it's in cooking what we have and going through the cupboards and using up everything. That's awesome. And does, yeah. is Ashi living his best life? He's having the best time. He's yeah. literally, he's getting so much attention. He has so many thrones everywhere. He has lots of cuddles. You know, he just basically wants, he's like, he's less my, like, Velcro dog when I'm here because he's so happy. So he's like, yeah, 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 you're somewhere. Down there. Like, oh, really? I can't even imagine what that looks like because he's always stuck to your side. Yeah, I mean, I think it doesn't work for moving so much, we're always around. Whereas here, we're, we're sort of in one place, so he knows where I am. So he's very chilled. He's, like, like I said, he would usually be here with me, but he was not enjoying it, so he left. Yeah, I don't know why people are asking if you have a cat. You don't have a cat, do you? You do? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know no. that. Oh. Oh, I love that other people no, are like it's Theo, but like that never happens because he's the boy cat. His name is boy cat. Boy cat. Boy cat. Yeah. I didn't know that. Fun fact of the day. Oh, what kind of? I'm gonna let you go soon because you're so sweet to spend time. But what kind of tea are you having? This is the. Um, like caffeination, we call it builder's tea. Mm. I don't know if that's the thing you guys have, but it's like just normal black tea. It's called it's Barry's tea. 
is like normal black tea with caffeine. Is that the bags that you hand out on set that are so yummy, or that's something different? No, that's the one. Those are the ones. Yeah, those it's are like really, really good. Really, like fucked out in normal Irish tea, and it's like it's cheap and chip, but it ends up being really expensive because my mom has to send it to me in Vancouver or wherever I am in the world because it's the only stuff I'll drink. And so it's like you know, two euro a box, then with postage and packaging, it probably costs about twenty quid every time I have to buy a cup of tea. When we go back to Vancouver, you have to pack like forty boxes. You have no idea how much actually of my luggage is tea. We spend all my travel with. We have the same pair of jeans, the same t-shirt, and then like everything else is books. Books and tea. You books did. And you, tea. you have an, an incredible amount of books. Books are I your know, are your furniture. Pretty much, books are my furniture and my art. Oh, 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 Odette's on and is saying hi to you on the live. <laughs> Odie's gonna come on in a little bit too, which is so exciting. <laughs> I know. Odie and I share some some best girlfriends. I'm excited to get to chat with her. But I love you so much, and I so appreciate you coming. And you look like you're rested and hydrated and relaxed. I love that you're rested and hydrated. And relaxed. Yeah. I love you no, very much. I'm trying to, try to stay safe and, you know, keep everybody else safe and healthy. So it's a scary, important, scary times, but it's important things to do. This is going to make so many people so happy. I really appreciate you, my love. No, of course, darling. Anytime. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. I'll probably call you when this is all over. I love okay. you. Love you, baby. Bye. Bye. All right. That was exciting, guys. Isn't that so cool? I love Katie so much. Okay. Next stop, because right, that we're, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're going to make these... <laughs> 